Hi, welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Chess and you might know me as Cruelty Free Makeup Heaven here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And today we're going to play with Cruelty Free Makeup. Today I want to play some more with this beautiful Be Perfect palette, the Carnival 3 palette. This one is so gorgeous and even though it's like super colorful, there are definitely some grunge tones in here like this one and this green and here we have some kind of like muted, what's it called, not an orange, red. <laughs> so yeah, I want to create something like that and I was heavily inspired by this beautiful corset top, mesh top by Misguided. Which which actually I wanted to wear in um, the autumn and the early winter but let me tell you I I filmed one video in it and that totally went wrong so I didn't upload it but yeah today I'm wearing it again I'm feeling it and I want to create something with some more grungy shades <laughs> So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing on my eye. Okay, so here I am much closer and I just primed my eyes with the P. Louise base in number two. And I used their brush. This is the Devoted to My Base brush, which is like super soft and it's like super nice to tap it out. But we're not gonna wait too long when applying the eyeshadow because this will settle in the lines otherwise. Also put down some of this Makeup Revolution banana powder under my eyes to catch any fallout okay so looking at the palette first of all I'm very interested in this clay shade as well as this yellow and this khaki shade I think I want to play with clay a little bit and see what it gives and what I want to blend it out with I'm going to take a pencil brush like this and dip into clay Ooh, this is a nice shade very yellow khaki green oh I love it Let's place this one on the outer V in a sort of V or C shape. Just tapping, tapping, tapping. Oh, and I want to thank Alex Beauty again for, for this palette because I want to give away from her. Check this lovely lady out from Spain. She speaks perfectly English. Definitely check her out. She also will be doing future giveaways and stuff. So you do not want to miss out on that. She's super sweet and she... Like this giveaway that I want is amazing. So, I mean... I got the Carnival Tree palette, like, what the hell? I feel like I also want to take it in the inner corner and then go up a little bit. Don't want to do a halo eye. Maybe I do. It's been a while since I did a halo eye, so I guess I'm gonna do that today. So I'm basically going towards my brow, like softly fitting that out. Also towards the middle. The khaki color or like a warm color would make it fit even better with what I have on. Let me take some khaki on the same brush and yeah, this is what I wanted. So I'm placing this not like totally over the other shade, but like a little bit more inward. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out some more. I think I'm gonna try Forest now. Well, not try, I already used it in a video. This is hmm, not completely what I wanted, but just doing it on both sides for symmetry. But um, let's take khaki again. Yeah, I feel like I messed up a bit with that um, green shade. On this side, it's okay because the other shade has covered it. But this, this side, uh, it's not how I want it. I had to start anew, so I took everything off. Also my face makeup because I was just feeling it to take it off and just not having to deal with the fallout on top of that makeup. Now we're starting with a fresh face with just a little bit of very light moisturizer on it. So I already primed the eyelids with a base two. I didn't put too thick of a layer this time. Yeah, let's just, let's just build up. So I'm gonna take this Your Makeup pencil brush and I'm gonna take Kaki first this time and place it here. And we're going in such a shape. And I'm already making this kind of shape here, like extending it into some sort of wing. So there's that. And then we need to see what we need to balance out on both sides. Also here a little bit. And I'm trying to match it up in height with this one. Like if I imagine this kind of shape, like one shape that would connect them. Like so. Dipping into clay, placing that right on the edge. 
the shade like so focusing a little bit more on the middle than the outsides i feel like there might be a little bit too much darkness on here gonna take a new one because i don't want to start <laughs> a new again so pressing working that higher up like so this one is also by Naskita, by the way, and this is the 145 brush, and this is from the from Makeup Addict set, like super cheap. And the quality is okay. It does what it has to do. So let's build it up on this side some more. And we're gonna envision like a light line here, like a sort of very, very thin V shape. Pressing that over the edge. Also here. Again, thinking about a very thin V shape. And it doesn't need to be blended yet. Okay, that's already better. Now we need to help off this little one again. I'm first going to blend out these edges with very small circular motions. I'm taking a fluffy brush now and with nothing on it, I'm just gonna only do the edges. So at first here on top and I don't move it upwards. I only move it sideways and in round motions. I do feel like on this side it's less, it worked out less, so I need to measure them together a little bit more and apply some more of that clay. Now let's. Why isn't it meshing that well? Oh, okay, it's kind of working. So it takes some time to go back and forth and then until you're satisfied with it, so I'm gonna do that and add some more khaki. I'm also going to go underneath the eyes, again in the same order, the khaki shade and then the clay shade. Actually, I've never seen like which natural color clay has, so I don't know at all if this is accurate. I'm not taking the inner corner darkness as far inwards as the outer corner darkness. We're gonna take vanilla and put it on the middle. This has like a beautiful greenish reflect. And I like when it's soft like this instead of like super glittery. Like this is more beautiful and almost wet looking, I feel. Also a bit here. Under the eye always makes a difference too. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to apply the lashes and everything. Okay, so here I am with my face makeup done, obviously. So what I did is I applied Urban Decay um, Stay Naked Foundation together with the Catrice Plus Matte Foundation. Um, so I mixed the two. I feel like that is, gives like a nice finish. Went over it with the RMS Beauty Powder. I also used um, my Max and More Contour Stick, which is more like a dark bronzer stick, and some blush from Kiko. Um, everything will be in the description box, by the way. I added this lip pencil by Hema in 21, and I also went over it with this one, this matte lipstick in Spice by Makeup Revolution. And I made some freckles as well. But I'm going to do a whole video on the different techniques that I have. And I added some intense glow highlighter by Defender Beauty. And this is like a loose highlighter and it's very uh, yellowy and I think it's super cool. But now I'm going to apply these velvet lashes. Ooh, these are gorgeous. They did like add the drama and yeah, make this sort of halo eye even better. So these are the velvet lashes by um, Kiss. And they're from the Luxtension range, so yeah, they're like like extensions apparently. Oh my gosh, damn! Yeah, love it. I use my dual clear, well, white clear drying lash glue. Love this. <laughs> Already lasts me a long while, and it's like super flat now, but they're still in there. And this is my fave formula of theirs and my fave formula of lash glue I've ever tried. I also wanted to do something in the waterline, but I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go for the green one. So this is by Essence, a long lasting pencil in Go Green. Oh, and on my lashes already was the Urban Decay Freak Lash. Oh yeah, I love this pop of green. 
Now here's hoping that the inner corners will stay put. Okay. I think they're more attached than I'm giving them credit for. It's just that this kind of band is a little... Well, it is very unnoticeable. If you have a thicker band, like it can feel a little less plasticky, but you will notice the band for sure like way more than this. Yeah, this band is kept really thin, so it does... That does really help in giving more like that lash extension effect. Yeah, I like it. I will scoot a little bit closer. I also added a little bit of the Defender highlight in the inner corner here. This is up close. Okay, so this is the finished look, everyone. I don't know if it really fits my, should I call this, mesh top that well. Maybe I should have gone more for browns or whatever, but I was... I was mesmerized by these shades, so I really wanted to try it. And I think it gives like a very nice grungy effect. I did really need to face makeup because without the face makeup, I really looked sickly. But yeah, I am vibing with this. And I like it with this kind of orangey lip. I feel like that really brings in the warmth because if this would be a very cold um, looking lip, it wouldn't be the same. Like it wouldn't fit as well with what I'm wearing, I think. So it's giving me some autumnal vibes, but also maybe already some spring vibes. I am looking so forward to warmer days again. I mean, I love all the seasons. I love the winter a lot too but it just gives me a lot of pain. Let me know actually what your favorite season is. Mine is, I guess it's autumn and spring. Summer is okay and winter is also okay. I don't have anything against any season, <laughs> just so you know. But yeah, let me know what your favorite season is if you watched the video until now and let me know what you think of the look. I hope this was helpful and fun to watch because I had a lot of fun making it even though it went wrong the first time. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again next time. Don't forget to like the video subscribe if you like my content and click the little notification bell to get notified every time I upload my weekly video or videos. Bye. It's time to end this video. The frizz has returned.